I've been sent here to bring you this. This sword can completely drain his mana. No time! Just take it! Here! How, how do you hand something from one player to another? Hey, buddy, watch this. Let's just stick for a boar, right? Maybe I should keep a tradable card for turn one. That's not a bad idea. Uh, okay, this is better, though. I mean, the leatherworking kit, you know, it, it, it hits on the other boars, I guess. So maybe that's worth enough on its own right. I'm not sure, though. But I can go ingenuity into leatherworking kit on three with the boar. That triggers one boar, but that's not that great. I kind of actually want to hit the discover a copy stuff before I draw both boars. I don't really want to play this yet, right? I actually need a lot of those other cards first, or at least wait until Dire Frenzy, maybe, on five. Pack Tactic Spore is really not that likely to go off because, you know, there could easily be some spells that kill this, particularly in this build, it looks like. Yeah, let's just chill. I'm gonna try to Dire Frenzy, right? So that way I have plenty of leatherworking kit support. So I gotta wait till turn five, I think. We could play this still on four and then chill for turn five and hope, but I, I, I can't do it now is basically what I'm getting at. For four mana, I think that's too risky. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, this is the same difference, right? So we might as well. I kind of wish I had the leatherworking kit up now is the thing. But Kota Bane will draw me more stuff to find more, so it should be fine. Okay. So one boar's dead. Four boars in deck. So I, yeah, I guess I don't really need to discover a copy stuff yet. The breeders or whatever. We're going to shuffle more in always, so you can kind of get those whenever. It's not too risky. You don't pick the one, silly. You don't pick the one, silly. Oh, hey, another boar. Sick. Kind of want the leatherworking kit, but I also want to clear the board, you know? I guess this probably isn't actually going to die yet, so... It's okay. Uh, <laughs> it is, yeah. It's so scary, too, I think. I'm real nervous about it, I'll tell you. Still not really rocking too, too many actually good cards here. Also just dying, right? We're just dying. We kind of need to play this against like Priest almost. Which, you know, we just saw the other side of. Because <laughs> I'm not going to have time to get enough boars in, I don't think. Uh, pretty good tradable card. I could still play Barak maybe here. Barak and like tracking is kind of cool too though. So maybe I just do that. Probably kill the Kolak. This is one of those instances too where where technically if they have a zero mana yeah these pack tactics are getting a little wacky man if they have a zero mana hero power i could still die even if i get sort of a thousand truths down so i don't know it's gonna be still gonna be i think we're just dead i mean i'm at 12 health <laughs> they've taken too much damage from those three fours using the stupid terrain crescent oh god okay i don't know how to deal with those i gotta say <laughs> I need something that doesn't exist here. I am so dead. I have no plays. Hungry, aren't ya? Super duper dead. Uh, we're only at two out of four, too. So although we're going to have way more, I'm just dead. I, I, he's got six on board, so can't do it now. Ah, the board dream is frustrating life to lead when I'm on a time clock. Ah, oh, we've spent an hour chasing the board dream. I might have to switch it up and come back to this. I, I'm going to give this like one or two more tries. Okay. I need a slow deck. Somebody play a slow deck. I'm literally the only person who's played. I mean, I, this is a little faster, I guess, but everybody we've played against has had hyper fast decks. Okay, this is an interesting package. We can trade on one, or maybe we just coin Leatherworker on, on one. At 
lose the weapon. No, I think it's actually good. Just didn't line up like last game. I think it's going to be solid, though. Okay, this is pretty sweet. Oh, sick. I didn't know it had these cool indicators. I think I saw that in a reveal video, but forgot. It shows like how much durability is left. Yes? That's... Oh, no, it's showing how many beasts die. I see, I see. I gotcha. So we'll go Ingenuity on two. Maybe just Shopkeep on three if I don't want to trade it. Uh, let's see how many other card draw cards we get and stuff, because... Oh! Uh, does that change my plan at all? Because this gives me both boars, but I have the Northshire, so no, it's fine. Uh, next turn, we can go boar pack tactics. I guess we probably play the bigger one. Uh, then we go Northshire boar on four. Theoretically, that could be three beasts that draw, that draw me another, that die, that draw me another boar, if the pack tactics goes off like we want. Uh, he's not playing pirates, by the way, or at least doesn't have quests, doesn't seem like pirates, so this might actually be the, the chance we need to get this done. If so, Raren's the best. Happy for him getting theory crafting, by the way. I was super pumped. I feel like it's going to be a big deal for his channel. He's going to be happy about that, I suspect. Okay. Dream's good, too, to finish it off later if we need to. So hopefully this doesn't die to a spell and we actually get a cool pack tactics. Uh, I would hate to pack tactics into the Northshire farmer, for instance. That would really slow you us down. Oh, he's a rogue! What? <laughs> I love it. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so exciting. That is really fun. Okay. That's really, really fun. Uh, we're a little better off not putting in uh, Students, class will be another minion, right? Because we want only boars on board for the uh, for the pack tactics. He's a rogue, <laughs> bamboozled. <laughs> I thought we were playing a slow, greedy, stupid warrior, and instead it's an idiot rogue. He's really dodging this pack tactics. I wonder how long he could afford to do that. I I'm gonna have enough anyway at some point, right? Just off of natural draws and everything because i'm gonna have three boars on board that's gonna draw another boar i still have tracking as well okay three blade storm there that was cool that's two boars dead so i guess now we we probably have to go boar northshire it just sort of sucks because the pack tactics could easily hit the northshire here but that's okay it's not the end of the world we're drawing at least one more boar here. Uh, presumably this tracking will find me something, either a boar or more plays into boars. Uh, I guess we take the ingenuity since it, it just is another boar and buffed and it kind of fills my mana since I don't have a mana fill here anyway, right? Okay. So two boars are dead. This is three. This is going to draw four. This is going to draw five. Theoretically, if pack tactics goes off well, we could get six. But I'm nervous we're going to start falling behind here. I don't know. <sighs> oh, pack tactics going off, maybe? Looks like it, maybe. Oh, no. Never mind. Guardian Armor. I thought that was a trade arrow. That was a... Screw you. I'm not trading arrow. How long can he dodge, though? Oh, fancy. That's a cool way to... Uh kill off a boar here. I have the Trium Crescent, so that's theoretically a better way to kill off a boar, but I gotta play one if I do that, right? So, uh... I think I still just need the tempo here, right? Unfortunately, I am actually stranded at the moment. I don't draw any more boars right now. Oh, these don't die. This actually gives me one back in hand, so it is worth using, but... Uh, but these just don't die. They're too big, so. Maybe I should have held one for this in case there's something that allows me to get one back. I forgot this gets one back, which is pretty sweet. I mean, I guess pack tactics is a third boar, which could potentially get me a charge on the weapon. Will it, uh, will it proc the pack? No, secrets don't proc on your own turn. Secrets only proc on enemy turns, so this won't. Well, anyway, this isn't our minions are attacking it. It's not their minions attacking us. So either way, it wouldn't proc a pack tactics, but good thought, though. Good thought exercise. Double check. Scab skin might be my new favorite rogue portrait. Yeah, I'm happy to get like a not edgy woman rogue portrait. I mean, they're awesome. I love Valera and, and my oven stuff, but it's cool to get a bit of a different vibe. 
Ooh, Lone Shark. That's fun. You guys haven't seen this yet. It gives me a coin. He gets two. Just hardcore ignoring my minions. Surely they have to... No, they're not going to trade. Oh, my God. That is brutal. I am stranded, dude. I have to hit a boar here. And I actually kind of need it to be a small one so I can trade it into the Lone Shark and kill it and get another one. Their ability to just completely dodge. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Their ability to just completely dodge. Uh, so it doesn't die. It doesn't die. I still play it, though, to proc the leatherworking kit, right? This is number six. I'll draw number seven, but I, I may not be able to kill it. And I might die... It can die with a true aim follow-up. That's true. I true aim first and then Devouring Swarm, but then I don't get the Leatherworking Kit because it's kind of the same difference. You know what I mean? I, I get a, another boar back regardless. So I think we just chill on this. The real problem right now is even if I get the sword, I feel like I'm going to be dead. I'm just... There's a lot of damage on board. I don't have a way to stabilize. I'm just going to be dead on board. Maybe between Crescent and Devouring Swarm or something I can, but they're not dead to the one attack of the of the sword, so how do I deal with their board, you know? These prize blunders have just been so brutal to let him clear the board without uh, proccing this pack tactics. I get a pack tactics, but not on what I want. I do don't I don't hate the minion though because this lets me trade a little bit maybe. Also, he's trading some too. Which doesn't hurt. Does he kill the boar here? Oh my god. Potion is insane. These freaking prize plunders, man. Uh big turd blossoms, thanks for the prime sub. I just cannot beat these freaking prize plunders, man. So I can get a sword here. No, I don't think I can get a sword here. I can't kill this. I guess with true aim, I can technically. No, I can't because everything's dead to the true aim attack. <sighs> I guess I can actually get the seventh boar, but I can't. Oh, does it come back as a one one? Maybe I can kill it. I just can't attack with the sword. Yeah, does this come back as a 1-1? One, one? Do you guys know? I'm sure it does. It should it should always come back as a 1-1. One, one. So I can't actually kill this off with true aim. I just can't attack. Which is hilarious. Much, but it's honest work. <laughs> um So we did it, but we're we're probably dead next turn, and even if we're not dead next turn, I can't win over two turns because I can't clear the board. So we got the sword, but we don't get the win. Ah, this stupid sword. He may not even have lethal. I may get to attack, but it just can't win. It's just too much board. If I had a board clear, if I had unleash the hounds or something, maybe there's a chance, right? But uh, we get to attack with it, though. Play the leatherworking kit for BM. I think I will, actually. Yeah. Uh, if we'd gotten more chip damage, or if we'd, uh... We've gotten more chip damage, or if he just didn't have such a crazy board. I feel like Prize Blunder has just owned that game, right? They just controlled all my tempo. Which would have gotten me chip damage, would have kept me alive, because I would have been able to trade better, and, and never proc that pack tactics until, like, it was too late to matter. Okay, oh, Priest! Yes! Blizzard employee! Yes! <laughs> you heard my cries! It must be Korra. It must be Korra. Um, okay, I, I... I think I want to keep this 
in this, but I'm a little bit at risk here of not actually hitting a, a beast raw. I, there's enough that I think we will. Yeah, breeder. Okay, that's good. Breeder. Yes! <laughs> Somebody decided to queue up a priest. Watch it be a shadow priest that's still an aggro deck. <laughs> I will die. I will actually die. Um... Okay, let's coin a breeder. Uh, next turn we can go leatherworking, then we can wait till four for, or actually we can go maybe carry on studies. I definitely want the leatherworking kit up though before I start playing boars to make sure they're they're ticking off those leatherworking kit hits. Will they have the perfect curve is the question and still beat me. That Watch them hit every single quest card on curve. Two, three, four, five, six, just boom, boom, boom. And we're dead. And we're dead. Okay. So, uh, probably just like tracking next to her and maybe hit like scavengers or something else. Another breeder to, to squeeze in here. Then we go farmer boar on four. Rock on five. We've actually got a pretty nice curve coming together here. Dire Frenzy's cool as well. Yeah, Scavengers is great. Now we can play a bigger boar with our Northshire. Which is probably the right strategy so that the final... Like, if we keep one boar in hand that's, like, easy to kill off, you know, that might be better. Okay, I love it. Oh, yes, Hero Power Pass. This is what we've been waiting for all freaking day. This is all I've wanted all day. Just Hero Power Pass, please. Thank you, Blizzard. <laughs> I love you. I love you. That's so nice, Blizzard employee. Whoever you are. I think it's Cora out there. She heard my plea. She's like, I'm going to stream snipe him. She, she queued up against us. That's what I believe. This is, the, this is definitely the one. Yeah, this is the run for sure. I think I just kill that, right? Uh, I could Dire Frenzy first uh, and then trade into the 2-2 two -two and then just run in, run in. I think I like that better, right? Dire Frenzy's pretty sweet still. I don't really need to go face or anything, so. Trade this guy. Okay, Wrangler's great, that's cool. So we have no boars dead, but we have a million boars in deck. I just got to start drawing through them all. Honestly, at this point, um, I kind of need to just play them and let the weapon do its thing. I don't really need to shuffle anymore. We have more than enough available. We just got to start cycling through. So Barak's good. Warsong Wrangler's good. Probably go like Barak into tracking this next turn or something. It's fine. I need my boars to die. Thank you. Uh, okay, that was a four mana hysteria, so they got their four costs done. They need a two and a three. Could maybe do shopkeep too. Hey, holy crap, I didn't even know that. Yeah, it's always like that anytime we do giveaways and I post on YouTube. YouTube in particular brings in the, the viewers. Uh, yeah, we'll take another boar, sure. Since we have the, the weapon here, the boars themselves are fine. So this is a boar, this is a boar, this is a boar, this is something, this is a boar, maybe this is a boar. So one, two, three, four boars. This will be five boars. We've had one die. We're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, there's their six drop, but it's not it's not active yet. So they need needed to get through the first half first, but they're just trying to keep up, which makes sense. Terrain might be a way for me to activate my boar as well, which is sweet. My god, these are actually just scary now, too. I'm gonna play the small one. Or actually, no, what I'm gonna do is carry on studies because uh, I actually don't want to kill them. <laughs> I don't want to put too much pressure in. Famous last words, right? You start getting cocky like that, that's when you lose. So, okay, Solmir, they got some boars now. Again, though, kind of maybe losing out on their quest completion. They, they don't have any twos or anything. Oh, my God. Yes. Uh, oh, no. No. <laughs> not like this. No way. They, they're not playing boars. Like, they're not going to go for seven. Not like this, please. God, no. This gets me a boar. Right, how many boars do I have? Can I kill off enough boars? No, not yet. 
I mean, we have enough actually to get this done. I just can't kill them all off yet. I think I want to make sure I save like one boar in hand. To like make sure I'm not going to get like silenced out of this game or anything, right? Why are these all so big? <laughs> and I want it to be the smallest one so I can like true aim crescent trade, right? Okay. It's kind of the worst minion. I wanted to hit a boar, of course. So three are dead. One's on board. That's four. Three are in hand. So if they played a really giant minion, I could true aim, but you don't love true aim necessarily. Oh my God, hit the shop key, please. That would be hilarious. Okay, that was a good roll, actually. That's sort of the smallest thing. I mean, it was it's kind of bad because, you know, I want to kill off my boars, but as far as making this a threat on board, it's fine. Uh, let's see what we can get here. Actually, let's keep the big one. I can use that to trade, so that's fine. Pack tactics, okay. I mean, in some ways, I do kind of want the boar to die, so I don't know if this is actually right or not. Okay, I'm scared I'm going to win before the boars die. <laughs> They're just kind of winning by being super buffed across the board. Um, so this is technically boar four and five. This is boar six. Oh my god, Varian is amazing. That was cool. Let's see, what's he getting? Is he getting rush? Is he getting taunt? He got taunt and rush, but no divine shield, I guess? Did he get divine shield? It's not showing anyway, but it, it was on there, I guess, because it's keyword on the on the card, so not a bug. Okay, so this is boar five, six, and seven. I can kill off this boar, presumably with a true aim crescent. Uh, unfortunately though, my opponent's almost dead. That's the, that's the problem right now. Hopefully they don't concede. We are kind of seeing this deck do a cool thing though. Uh, even without, <laughs> even without the sword itself. I don't know how they stay alive here, though. I mean, what do they do? Zyrella, maybe, I guess? There's a Zyrella out, it seems. Uh, Mazoth doesn't have enough, right? It's just not good enough. Uh, I'm gonna trade in, though, to get the, to get the, the boars. And kill them with the, uh, kill them with the sword, of course. <laughs> I can trade it, trade it, and hit them with a sword for lethal. It's not exactly what we were looking for, but I think it counts, right? I think it counts. What? What? <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is uh, Boar Hunter. We got a pretty good boar hand too. Get a boar, get a copy of boar, get some more boars with the war song. It's pretty good, pretty good. I like it. What is it? Lasagna? How are you making lasagna? You, you're too shy to tell me what you made for dinner? Okay, that's fine. All right, boar is equipped. Uh, we probably want to wait till four to play this, right? Uh, we can we can go for the Wrangler. Well, I don't know. My turn three is so stranded. Maybe I do just play it. I just tempo it. I can get it. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay, for sure. I get another one anyway. Oh, I, oh no, this is not bigger. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, we can go farmer on three with another boar. Then we can go Wrangler to get the next set of boars. We're actually in a pretty good pretty good spot here. Okay, aim shot's fine. We don't really care too much. As long as I'm not dying, we're fine. This curve is perfect. We're gonna get Wrangler into another giant boar this time. It's gonna be so freaking big. And then uh, maybe a Terran. It's cool that we haven't really sacrificed too much tempo. I mean, the scavengers weren't super high tempo, but we still got a lot of pressure out at least. 
Oh, deck list. Yeah, sorry. I don't actually have a deck list for this one. I'm sorry. I didn't take a screenshot of this one. I made this one live, so. No handy deck list. My apologies. I'll, I'll edit one in on YouTube, I'm sure, but. Hungry, aren't ya? Uh, do I hold this? It's actually the only boar I have at the moment. So I think I hold it for like a Terran or another farmer. Uh, if I get one off this, I have a lot more flexibility or a way to find one. So here's a way to find one. Okay. Uh, so this might be a Terran play next turn. Just boom, boom, boom. It's not too bad. Could also go pack tactics, I guess. It's not bad either. Pack tactics with Terran Gorfiend is actually really crazy if you think about it. I don't know if it's worth it, but it's pretty crazy. <laughs> you get two Terrans. It's not much different than a boar, but it, it kind of depends what minions I have alive, I guess. Okay. It's floating two mana, huh? What do you guys like here? Do you like just getting the new boar immediately? It's kind of like debuffing it, the Terran is. So it's not, it's not that interesting in some ways. Uh, I think I just go like this. Again, I'm I'm kind of technically leaving myself with only one boar, but it's enough. It's enough. So this will be boar number three. This is boar number four. This would technically be boar number five if I played it. Maybe boar six if both lived. So we're getting close. Pack tactics at this stage, I think, is pretty unlikely actually to get me another boar, just because we have so many other minions kind of polluting the pool right now. Uh, yeah, I think this deck has minions to proc pack tactics, as you can see. Like, uh, the hyenas and stuff are gonna definitely open up some some pack tactics options. I mean, this may have been the turn for it, honestly. Maybe too late now. But if we leave up that Kolkar in particular, um, it might work out. Like, I could trade this in and uh, just go for pack tactics. I guess the question is, do I do it on the Terran or on just the boar? I guess I do it on the Terran. The, the problem is, right, it, it uh, it's sort of, well, number one, it's debuffing the boar, which sucks. Number two, it's sort of delayed. I have to, like, trade in all the Terrans and stuff. I don't actually think that's worth it. I think I just do it on the boar. Let's see what else I find here, though. Let's trade in and see. Um, the, the, let's trade again. Let's see. Okay, that's that's actually really good for the Terran line, but now I think I'm committed to this since I already traded. I'm going to leave this up so that this is likely to proc a pack tactics. Right? We're actually encouraging the pack tactics here, which will give me boar number four and five on board. Warsong would give me boar number six. Terran could maybe give me boar number seven. Oh boy. We're actually just gonna die. They're not attacking at all. Does this attack? Maybe they play around it. Leave it up. Oh boy, they did. Um, This is just all the boars, right? The problem is if I swarm into Terran, I don't clear this. Oh, you're saying do this and then Terran. Oh, I got what you mean. Yes. You're right, yeah. I, oh my god, I gotta hurry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, no, it's gonna animate too slow! Oh, I got it! I got it! I'm a god! <laughs> I'm a god! <laughs> by being an idiot, that is. I'm an actual god by being an idiot. Oh my god, I see, I see. Yes! Thank god it wasn't Freezing Trap, by the way. I think Freezing Trap operates on the devouring thing. If it had been Freezing Trap, we were totally screwed with that play. This plays safer if it's freezing trap. So I don't know if that was actually worth the risk. It might've been game losing if that had been a freezing trap because I wouldn't have killed the seven seven. I wouldn't have gotten the sword, but in hindsight, hey, it worked out. So I think we gotta be happy. I'm assuming freezing trap procs. It says they attack. So I, I don't know for sure, I guess, but I missed a hero power by the way, but I don't think we need it. Oh my god, we almost died anyway. Even when they were at one mana. Wow. Beautiful. That which has no life is indeed the achievement name. That's fantastic. That's amazing. Okay. 
That felt pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, man, I don't know. Guys, I don't know. That was probably worth it because we almost died. And, you know, but if that had been freezing trap, we were so screwed.